Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with another fantastic KO5 gameplay today guys. And as you can see from the title, this is a free-for-all gameplay against Turley. So I was very happy with this win guys, um, Turley is one of the best uh, Halo 5 free for all players and uh, this game has literally just happened, um, I had to record it straight away because it was such a good win, um, so here's me uh, telling Matt and Mark about the awesome gameplay and uh, I think they got bored to death, um, both on Destiny though, traitors, but um, no, I'm just joking, I had to tell my best friends, uh, Celerities, Minjar and Ray, you know, Marky Mark, Radar, so, um, because it was such an awesome game, as you're going to see in this uh, gameplay today, guys. And uh, it is true, guys, that I have been playing um, low-key free-for-all a little bit recently on an alternate account, um, because I never really gave six-man free-for-all a chance, and I, I've often gone on about in free, you know, my gameplay is how much I hate free-for-all. So I know this must uh, come as a bit of a shock that I've started playing it, but um, I just fa fancy giving it a go, guys. You know, I wanted to improve my individual skills on this game, as I mentioned in my other videos. And I just thought that playing on my alternate account, um, in a Serenity 69, uh, because I didn't really want to incur the scrap uh, scrappy win rates um, in free-for-all on my main Serenities, because um, I've got quite a good win rate on that account. Um, for Arena, and you will get scrappy win rates uh, when you're learning free for all at the start because, um, you know, if you match top players like Turley all the time, you can't always expect to come first place. So um, I wanted a tag that people could think this this might be Serenities or it might not be because, um, you know, if I play bad, they can just say, no, this guy isn't as good as Serenities or whatever. So, um, you know, it was uh, it was <laughs> quite funny to come up with Inner Serenity 69. And um, as I was saying, guys, I was playing low-key free-for-all, but obviously not anymore after this upload. Um, and the other gameplays I have to come, so I really hope you guys are looking forward to those other wins I've got against champion players. But I have to say, uh, Turley was the best game I've played thus far. He's uh, definitely the best player I've played in free-for-all thus far as well. Um, so I was really happy to get this win as well. Now, I must emphasize, I've just started playing free-for-all in this game, so it's still a learning curve for me. But I think I've done uh, tremendously well thus far to get some of the wins I have in a short time span because I've only really started playing free for all um, since the start of the June season. So, um, you know, Turley has been champ one free for all for a whole season straight. As you can see from the screenshot from Waypoint, he is, uh, you know, ranked in a ridiculous amount of CSR one season, 6,575 CSR. So that basically tells me that for a whole season, he more or less won most of his games. So, he really knows how to play free for all guys, really skillful player, he um, really knows the strategies really well, and I really hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Throughout this gameplay guys, I will try to explain my decision making as best as I can, um, and you know, include some of the funny moments. Uh, Tully was also live streaming this game, so I will include some of the funny moments from um, his stream uh, where I have a battle with him. He had about 50 to 60 viewers at the time. Uh, but you know, I have the utmost respect for him, he's uh, obviously a great player and uh, to have acquired much uh, CSR as he has in uh, one particular season, I think he has been champ one uh, multiple seasons, um, you know, that's just really impressive and at the moment he's already going for champ one again, I think at the time of this gameplay, which was uh, yesterday, um, he was actually, uh, I think he was champ 20, so uh, you know, even that being said, he's not quite up to one yet, but he's, he's on his way. Um, so, yeah. But in this gameplay, guys, it was Serenis that came out victorious, and I really hope you enjoy this gameplay. So as I said, guys, you know, um, Free Fall is a new learning curve for me, so I had to learn everything about the, the maps to play them. Um, before this gameplay happened, I did play another game uh, where I came bottom last, because it was my first game of the day, I only played two games of free for on this particular day and um, because once I got the Turley game I kind of stopped um, but the uh, the first one was me coming bomb last because I just wasn't focused at all and it was on Pegasus and I just hadn't really played that map before in free for all so I didn't know any of the spawns and I just didn't know what to do off my spawn so all the other players had power weapons so they were more or less spawn killing me for most of the game so that was really bad and they weren't particularly good players. I, I feel that you know Turley was way better than them, but I just, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just flopped. So coming off a loss in this gameplay, obviously I was a bit nervous about playing Turley as well. Um, so you know I really tried to keep the nerves down, try and play my best Halo for this for this match. 
Um, but, you know, as I said, guys, there are a lot of uh, plays that I'd like to comment on. It didn't go so well and a lot of plays that I will um, sort of, you know, uh, say that that went well and, you know, what, what to improve for next time. So Empire Free For All, guys, is a really, um, it's one of my better um, game types, actually, in Free For All that I play. I feel that this is one of my best ones to play um, because it's, it certainly suits my play style. I'm quite a stealthy player and, like, strategic player, so... Um, so I would say the most important thing on this map, guys, to start off with uh, learning free for all, is learning the spawns at the start of a particular game or a particular map. So, dependent on what spawn you get in free for all, you need to do certain different things. This applies to lone wolves as well from Halo 3, but you have to know what to do off your spawn, what spawns near you, what like play you're going to make based on where the other players are. So I spawn top security at the beginning of this game. So I knew that I was going to be the person who would get OS. And the reason you always go for OS when you're spawn top security is because you're the one closest to it. So you definitely want to grab it. It's a guaranteed like at least one kill or maybe two kills because everyone rushes for the OS at the beginning. Um, you know, if you're playing like on the champion players, everyone will rush for the OS. So you won't survive very long with it, but you will get like one or two kills. So you should definitely go for it. Um, I would say it's probably the best spawn to get in the sense of, you know, getting the OS later on in the game as well because, like, you can remember the exact time, so, by grabbing it first. And uh, there you go, ninja in someone who just got the fresh OS. Oh dear. Godly HCS, get out of this one. But <laughs> and he did actually rage quit the game after that happened, guys. So, uh,. Just had to break off and embarrass him even more here on Serenity's vids. But as I say, guys, you know, Karma was in effect this game. Um, I did ninja godly HCS and make him rage quit there. It was really funny. So that takes down the player count to five now. Another player um, rage quits uh, shortly um, here on after because uh, he's just got no chance of winning. So it actually comes down to a four player free for all. So the game changes a bit slightly because it's only Turley and two other guys that I was in with. So it was made a bit harder in that respect because um, it was the top four players and Chargy was pretty good in this gameplay as well so it was made a bit harder so as I was saying guys you know it's really important to learn the spawns at, at the start of uh, free for all I haven't learned all of them yet for every single map like what to do best um, I feel with Empire like I have got off to a quite a good start I know most of the ways this map works and the strategies so but Tony was a really hard catch he wasn't um, you know in by any means like he was just a really smart player and you can see here at times his thrusting worked really well on me. Um, I didn't expect him to challenge when he did sometimes because he was a really aggressive player as well. So he did catch me off guard a couple of times. Um, so, you know, just showing how good a, a individual player he is. So at this point, guys, going for the Rockets, really important decision to make. Rockets also spawn this. Um, but as I said, you know, the, the shotgun and the Rockets are both kind of essential on this map. I would actually say the most important power weapon on the map is actually shotgun though because once you've used your entire shot in clip, uh, you can actually effectively like recycle your shotguns because once you've used it, um, if you drop it for another weapon, uh, once it's empty, it will spawn in 10 seconds time back in the place where you picked it up, uh, which is bottom security. Um, so you always want to, you, you can effectively like recycle the weapon and get a lot of cheap kills. And I would definitely recommend doing that if you're playing a, a champion high or a high onyx game because um, you know, smart players it just makes it easier to kill them if you have shotty. And if you are going to like camp with a shotty as well, like I do, you just want to be as like you know discreet as you can. So at this point, I was really lucky to get it back. Um, you know, Split Nader guy's a really nice play. He was just way too aggressive on that charge. He should have really uh, backed down. But as I said, guys, you know, the, the shotgun is probably the, the most important power weapon on the map. So I would definitely. Um, you know, make a point of getting this weapon if you can because it's the recycling thing. Uh, but the rockets are also great as well. Um, it's probably the only weapon that can really counter a shotgun. So, uh, you know, most of the time people will go for rockets as well because those people that don't have many kills, they will, you know, sort of think of rockets as their way of coming back into the game. And usually as well, depending on when the OS was grabbed, of course, but usually the rocket spawn will come up first before the OS. So, if you get the uh, rocket, you've got quite a higher chance of probably getting the OS as well, like assuming that you kill the people down there and then grab it. 
Um, so anyway, guys, the stream cut is actually coming up, so I will get off screen for that moment and the other stream cuts that are to come and just let you enjoy the moment that I have with uh, Turley and his sports um, on the play that I did. So enjoy, guys. Shotgun me again, man. How many shotgun kills? So yeah, that kind of highlights the importance of this weapon on this map. Another thing to say as well, because I spawned top security in the beginning, the reason I didn't go for this weapon at the very beginning is because there is a spawn there where someone just spawns on the shotty. So you don't want if you if you get top tower, you should always go for the OS because someone spawns uh, bottom security as well, and they will just get that shotgun and kill you. So that's that's why I have to go for the OS as well, just to explain that a bit better. So at this point, guys, you know, um, Turley just got that OS and and my shotgun as well. So that's a really bad play. And it's, a, it's especially bad play if you consider the fact that I did get the last OS, so I should have known the exact time it was coming up and, um, you know, been a bit more uh, unpredictable about how I sort of went about getting that OS because I knew that Turley would probably go down for it there. Well, I should have known that Turley would go down for it there because obviously he's going to want to grab that. Um, you know, he's uh, in the lead at the moment, so he definitely wants to maintain that and by getting the OS he can do that. Um, so, you know, I knew the exact time and Turley didn't, so I had that advantage over him and I should have used that. Instead of coming from a predictable way and just waiting in the pit, I should have been a bit more tactical and come round from a different route. So anyway guys, I'll let you enjoy this little clip of Turley using the shotgun. Look how bad my... <laughs> it's so bad, dude. Fuck. That's why you let me have shotty on this map because Turley, I'm just gonna splint and aid you. But <laughs> that was a really nice way to get the shotty back. But as I was saying, guys, you know I should have been a bit more tactful how I went for that last OS because it probably would have made my life a lot easier at this part of the game. Because as you can see, it's getting incredibly intense right now, and the the, the score lead Turley had was 22 to 17. So. Slightly coming back here, but Turley only needs one kill to finish the game, so I'm going to be, ex you know, have to be extremely tactful if I want to get this win. At this point, I did think to myself, you know, I'm not going to beat Turley here. He only needs one kill. But the Spanker Rockets come up, and Serenity knows that, so he makes a push out with them. Has to get kills right now. Here's a battle going on over here, so it looks to, you know, find that player that was weak. And he's going to get a kill there, so that takes him to 23 kills. Needs another kill. Chargey taking the charge here, nearly getting me killed. So I have to come inside. Hopefully going to try and finish him off, the yellow guy. As you can see, got him weak. Manages to get the kill, and it's 24 all here with the Turley and Serenis. And here we go, a little 1v1 battle. What's going to happen? Thinking of getting a scar. Turley and I are so close to being taken out. They're both trading melees and then thrusting away from each other. So that was quite a big battle, guys. Um, obviously, I couldn't let Turley kill me, so I had to come inside. There was no no other thing I could have done in that situation. So the first thing I could do was to think to throw two grenades. I was getting so hyped at this point. At this point, just looking for that last player to try and get that kill. And I see there's a guy here. It's Chargy. I'm going to charge him with the AR and finish the game, folks. So there you go. Serenity's wins over champion free for all player Turley guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I really enjoyed it personally. Um, really great win against Turley. Um, there is a stream cut coming up guys of Turley's events uh, ending the game. So I really hope you guys enjoy that. As for me guys, this was Serenity's here with a really nice free for all win against Turley. And expect a lot more champion free for all gameplay on my channel guys. So I will see you next time. Bye guys. Next kill wins. Ten seconds to rocket launcher.
Two minutes left. Rocket launcher ready. <clears throat> yeah, dude. They really do. Like, just, just the thrust alone. Like, if I could just thrust without having to do that, it just takes the X. The thrust paddle makes a big difference for me. Right for me. Uh, not like this. Oh my. Thinking of getting a scuff? Well, that's what I'm using right now, and like, I don't know, the paddles on the Elite are better, but the sticks on this are better, so it's really, it's really up to you. Be right back in one sec, guys.